Spring is in the air. Sun is everywhere. And you don't even care. Hair. And you have no hair. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. We're so excited to have you guys with us today. Today is a special day. Well, kind of for a lot of reasons. But number one, it's a new day. That's awesome. It's a new week. That's even more awesome. And it's a new month, which is especially awesome. I think this happened last month. It's happened once already this year where it was a new day, new week, and new month all in the same day. It makes me so excited because it's the opportunity. Oh, egg goes already. Squirrel. Opportunity to start anew, to make new goals, get things done. Super excited. Another reason that today is super special is because we are celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday at school, which means Hazy can wear a hat and some fun socks to school today. Let's see what socks you have on. So crazy. Minnie Mouse? Yeah. Sweetheart, you have the legs of a little kid who's been playing outside in summer, which is what happens at recess, huh? Even though it is Dr. Seuss's birthday, we are wearing Minnie Mouse today. So and that's exciting. And a hat. March 1st, can't believe it, finally got out of February, out of those winter months. We're moving into, I think like 50 something degree weather this month. Kids are having breakfast, getting things started today on a new day, Monday. New month, mom said, right guys? It's new March. Sun's coming up a little earlier, right guy? Rocking his new shoes from the Park City Shopping Hall. Check it out. But bro, that's not the only pair of shoes you got. You got two, yeah. right? Yeah. But two for the price of one. So that's what we call a steal of the deal in the Bingham house. Right guy, got some brand new Vans on. Love these. Other ones, light gray checkers and white. Coolest thing of all, those already on sale. They threw on the other pair for free. Said, you know what? Your right guy, Bingham, I'm gonna hook you up. Just kidding, that deals for everybody, but still. Yep. And we didn't show this, I don't think, but Rexy Doodle got a series of magnets for his souvenir in Park City. He saw them in one of the shops and loved them, and I was like, I don't know, dude, like a pile of magnets. Is that really that exciting? I gotta tell you, I have never seen anyone more excited about anything that they've purchased, bought, gifted, anything than Brexton with these magnets. He has not stopped playing with them. He's not stopped fiddling with them. They are like his favorite toy he's ever owned. I'm gonna say maybe greatest purchase of all time, picking up these magnets for Rexy Doodle, because he has not stopped being entertained for like two days straight now. Played with them in bed too. Oh, oh boy. And then whenever I went to bed, I... You got the metal shelves in between your beds, huh? Mm -hmm. So you can so kind of put. So they just like I put them on that little thin part, and they just stick together. Guys, there's so much fun you can have with magnets. We've been doing like little magic tricks where you put like one under the table, one on top, and you can slide them around. They do the repelling side, make them like pop and jump. I had no idea magnets were so much fun until Brexy got these. And Hazy saw how much fun Brexy was having with his magnets, and she got a set too. We've been talking a lot about magnet safety because magnets can be a little bit dangerous, huh? If you don't take good care of them. It's so fun having these because they're pretty dang strong. They're pretty big and thick too, which is nice. They're not gonna accidentally be swallowed or anything. You can actually take them and push them against each other and they push back. You can do that, which happens pretty often. <laughs> Just find the metal pieces in the house and that's where it is. They've gone to the metal pieces in the house somewhere. Hazy got her own little stack of them too. Kids love these magnets. I remember as a kid, magnets probably one of my favorite toys that I had because it just felt like the closest thing to magic that there is. The way you can push magnets against something and it pushes it away. The way you can do that silly trick under a table and make stuff move on top. I do remember thinking that magnets is the closest you can get to actually having magical powers. That's probably why they're entertained by them so much. I brush my teeth back and forth, I brush my teeth back and forth, I brush Kids packing up, grabbing masks, backpacks, coats, hats, all the, no, not hats, but Hazy has a hat, it's so adorable. You never get to wear a hat to school. Yeah. That is so stinking yeah, cute. It just occurred to us, you guys, March is the month that the kids will go back to school for full-time hours. Now, they'll still have Fridays off, but two weeks from tomorrow, two weeks, you guys, the kids will be going back to full-time hours of school right now. I'm sure most of you are painfully aware of this, but they get out at 11 o'clock in the morning when they're done with school, Monday through Thursday. That will be switching to going all the way full day of school to like 2.30, I can't even remember what a full day of school is anymore. 2.30, yeah. But Monday through Thursday still, so we still get Fridays off, still get three day weekends all the time. That's awesome. Packing up for the beginning of the last two weeks of half days of school, guys. Enjoy. March is gonna be a big month. I can feel it. March is a big one. I can just sense a change, a shift in the air. And maybe I know it's the, the warmer. Air is getting warmer. I said, I was just gonna say, maybe it's the warmer air. That's so funny. We had the exact same thought. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Packing up for school, heading out, kicking this month, this day, this week off right. Woo! <laughs> oh, I unlocked it already. Love you, have a great day everybody. Bye. Hey, you're awesome, let's do something cool today. Yeah. Happy March 1st, everyone.
three hours later. Kids are home from school. Rye Guy is starting the chores. He has done his reading and his homework. So now he's moved on to the next portion of the day, which is chores, which is his favorite portion of the day. It's dishwasher, yeah. Crew is over there working on some homework that he has to make up. Things are getting moving this afternoon and it feels really good. The sun is shining. We are supposed to have an incredibly warm week here in Utah, as Brandon said earlier. So excited, hoping I can get some outdoor runs in. Just makes me feel so good. I just made my mom's bread recipe. I'm gonna let it sit for three hours. That's how her recipe goes. I'm gonna try that. I decided to just use a different recipe because mine, you have to let it sit for at least eight hours. I don't have that kind of time today. Hers is only a three hour rise. I'm gonna try that out. Got a new little something something on here today and I am so excited about it. Stay tuned. Worked really hard and I can't wait to see all of this come to life. I'm very excited to be wearing this today. If you wanna help Maddie out with her homework, you can go on over to Instagram at Maddie underscore Bingham and you guys can help her with her homework by liking, commenting, and sharing her new reel that she just put out. It might pull at your heartstrings. It might make you emotional. It's so beautiful to watch these sweet kids grow up. Go on over. You can share it. Help her get extra credit. Help her out. Go on over there. This day is moving along awesome and I couldn't be more happy about it. Just got back from the gym, you guys, and I gotta say, it is shining bright outside. I'm talking bright like a diamond. It is Shine so bright like, like a diamond. diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Diamonds are diamonds and foots. Okay. I just think that changes everything. It just changes the game. When it's sunny and bright out, it's still only like 35 degrees, but it is so glorious and beautiful out there. We decided to celebrate with some cake. Yep. <laughs> no, we actually didn't, but crew is making this amazing cup mug cake. I don't really know what it is, mug but it's cake. delicious. It's like a funfetti cake. It comes with its own rainbow chip frosting topping. Throw this in the microwave, it will grow up like a cake. And then you pop it off with this rainbow chip frosting. Rye Guy had one yesterday. Fantastic. Crew's having one. After school snacks going down big time during the Bingham house. That's how we do on a Monday, March 1st. Spring is in the air. Sun is everywhere. I got nothing. You don't even care. And you have no hair. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> Had to jump in and tell you a massive huge thank you for diving in and over to Maddie's Instagram. Seriously. Commenting, liking, sharing, doing all the things with oh. that post. It's blowing up. It's doing so well. You guys, there's like thousands of comments on it. You guys have come out in full force. She's got to win this. She's got to get that extra credit. We will absolutely update you on whether or not she wins or she gets that extra credit. I hope so. I think it runs through the week. So she's got until Friday to get those engagements. So keep engaging with it. We'll probably give you another reminder as the week closes out. She is crushing it right now. I should say you guys are crushing it right now for her. Awesome. Thank you guys Seriously. so much for that. Mom, as you can see, has got some stuff laid out for dinner tonight. Mindy, what is for dinner on this March 1st evening? Well, I am making a new bread that I told you about earlier. It's okay. currently in the oven. Okay. Then I am making Zupa Toscana soup, just like you can get at Olive Garden, but better. But better, much better. Soup and homemade bread doesn't get much better than that on a March 1st crisp late winter evening. I don't know what it is. What is Guys, it? I when does spring start? March 21st? Spring start this month. I think it starts this month. I feel a lot of stuff going on this month. I feel a change in the air. I just feel like things, like the sun is out. It feels a little warmer, a little bit yeah. better. We've got a lot going on this month. You guys, some stuff we can tell you about, some stuff gotta keep a little bit under wraps until we can fully reveal but some very big and very exciting, very good, great things coming for all of us. The full This Is How a Bingham family, not just us the Binghams in here in this house, but the all one million of you out there, almost one million, one hundred thousand. That's how crazy you guys are, growing like wildfire. March, I think, is going to be that month, the month that things just kind of turn, which is funny. You recall, it was March of last year that things took a turn, and then we're just gonna try and 180 that this March and, and start heading the other direction. Month, like, so vividly. Let's yeah. not do that again. No. Okay? no, let's do the opposite. In fact, it's opposite month. We're gonna do opposite this March, what we did last March. We need to turn our clothes around. We could do that. It's a great shirt, Mom. Mom's cooking up a dinner, cooking up a storm. We got some kids off at friends' houses. Some are playing video games. It is still, despite the bright, sunny weather outside, chilly. still quite chilly, still quite cold. We are moving into like the 50s, high 40s this week. So we think we'll probably start to get outside a little bit more. We're gonna be loving doing that. I gotta give a mad shout out to mom right now. She has been momming out of control today. She has been neck deep in laundry. She's been fulfilling her responsibilities in her church calling by going to the neighbor's houses, preparing them for things to come, making visits. Yes. 
and now busting out a very involved soup and dinner. You're doing your best. Because your best is enough. And your best is enough. Your best kind of crushes. Your best is pretty next level. You know what? I'm but I, I had to. I had to give you a public shout out right now because as I walk through the house, I just see remnants of all of the hard work you've been doing all day today. And you're a rock star. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Pretty good. Oh no, that's not too thick. Dinner is being served up right now. Fresh, hot, creepy dude. Hold up real quick before you sit down. This is the Nike outfit that he got at the outlet mall when we were in Park it City. Is so comfy. So good looking, bro. So fresh. Look at that. That's soft, soft, soft. Rex, you had on your jacket. Oh, here it is. Rex, you still got this amazing jacket at the Nike outlet. He's been loving it, wearing it all day. I love it, dude. I love it. Blue and white, looking real good. I don't know how I feel about that t shirt you're wearing, but sister does go there. Right, guys, you still got the vans on? Hey, guys, everybody's got a little something on. Oh, guess what? Mom's been going. I wore my pink vans today, and Claire has the exact same one. She just bought them. <laughs> Mom's been going on and on about her vans. She could not love them more than match her shirt perfectly. Everything's coming together tonight, oh you guys. God. Look at this delicious homemade soup that mom whipped together for us and homemade bread. This is gonna be a yummy, yummy dinner. finished up with a delicious dinner from mom. We've successfully cleaned up the house. Actually had all the kids help out, pitch in. Mom cleaned up the kitchen, looks very nice. We're gathering here in the family room, you guys, because we have just received a video from their school. The kids' school has sent out a video detailing and explaining what will go down when we transition back to the full-time school schedule on March 16th. And what I love about our school is how well... <laughs> How well they communicate with the parents, with the kids, with the staff. Everybody knows what's going on. There's no second guessing. Everybody knows what to expect when these changes happen. So they've sent out this video for us to watch. Mom's got it up on the TV. We're going to watch it right now. It's going to detail everything that we need to know in advance of the school schedule changing. Then you go online and you say if you want to participate in the in-home or the at-school learning. This is going to let the kids know exactly how things will run as soon as they go back to school. Just finished watching that. Actually, going to be pretty awesome. It's gonna be really cool. I love how thoroughly they've thought it through. There's a lot of things in place, a lot of cleaning procedures. They're still gonna be doing a lot of social distancing. They still have to, by state mandate, wear masks. So there are some things that will still have that 2020 vibe. But one giant step in the direction of returning to normalcy. So that's a big yes. one. Yes. Daisy is still in kindergarten, so she will go from 8 to 11. Yep. So we'll go to school one time during the day to pick her up and then go back and get the kids. Later that afternoon is going towards a good direction. I'm really excited about so it. So I think the kids are pretty pumped too. They were watching it. Like, I wish. I could have been recording the whole thing. They were literally like cheering when they would say certain things. Like they're going to be able to go to their art classes they've been missing. Oh my gosh, they haven't lunch, done like their lunch with their friends, days. recess, things that they've just not had in a while, guys. A year. It was a year ago this month that everything shut down. Here we are one year later now kind of opening some of that stuff back up. So big things are Big, coming. big changes, you guys. Speaking of big things, Maddie getting her wisdom teeth out this week. So we are going to be taking care of her nursing her here at home. You can bet. Give me some fun with anesthesia there. Don't want to miss that one coming up uh, later this week. bring me back to your leg surgery. Yeah. And you could not stop laughing. Nothing. <laughs> I was just thinking about the fake rage. Because <laughs> they said sometimes people come out and grumpy. <laughs> Yeah. Coming out of anesthesia. Some of so. the, I feel like some of the best stuff comes out of wisdom teeth. So we'll be interested to see how that goes with her. And then she'll kind of recover here with us. And that's going to be great. We're glad we can be oh, here to take care of her. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We hope you guys look forward to all of the big changes and awesome things coming as much as we do. Thanks for hanging. Much more to come, guys. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Happened once already this year where it was a new month, no new week, new. No, Brandon, sorry. All right, I just did like a two minute clip and I had food in my teeth, so starting this baby ever.